Good morning everyone. We have made it to our first site. Like I said, today we'll be using the Quest X10 Pro. 12 kilohertz waterproof metal detector. It's waterproof up to 10 feet. And we'll also be using the trusty Vanquish 540 with the V8 coil. Um, the Quest comes with a sharpshooter. Um, I think it's like 9.5 by 6 sharpshooter coil. Both double D coils. We got all this moist, wet woodland that used to be a farm to metal detect. So it is going to be a good day, guys. I can feel it. Spot's been hunted a few times, but I always produce something. And if we don't, there is four more cellar holes in this area within like, um, I don't know, about five, six hundred yards. A couple was a barn, a couple were home sites. So, yep. Alrighty, see you guys at the first target. Okay, folks, um, I'm going to start out, make a few laps with the Quest X10 Pro 12 kilohertz detector. First target out of the ground with it, it was ringing in at a 5960, which is good. That's pretty similar to our Garrett. It's going to be a piece of a shotgun shell head stamp. Alrighty, guys. Yeah, I actually, I like this detector. I got a really good deal on it. Got it from Kelly Co. 150 bucks. And, uh, yeah. So far, it's pretty cool. I like it. Just something to different to play with. It doesn't go as deep as what the Vanquish does, but, yeah, it's something different, and it's waterproof, so we can hunt in the rain now in, in wet conditions like this without having to worry about damaging our metal detectors. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you at the next target. We'll go over the settings and some of the other features on the Quest here in a little bit, okay? Alrighty folks, I got my next target, the Quest X10 Pro. Um, came up as a 56 to 59, it's about 5 inches down, and it's going to be an old bullet. Check that out. That's pretty cool, you can see where it impacted at. There's the base, that's at least 100 years old folks. Definitely got some age to it. Post Civil War though, it doesn't go back farther than you know. It was definitely made after the Civil War, but I'd say around 1900, a little before, a little after. Alrighty, folks, see you at the next target. Alright folks, I got a 56, 57 right here. I believe I'm off camera, but. Alright, I got it out of the hole. We'll see what it is. It might be a shotgun shell. But 
I got it out. It's just a couple inches down. Might even be some foil. You never know. Little piece of lead, maybe. Alright, let's get our probe out and see what we can find. Piece of lead, maybe. Gotta be a little piece of lead. A little button, maybe. Yeah, I think we might have ourselves a little button, guys. There's something going on. Check that out. All right. Let's see if we can get this cleaned up, any. And we'll uh, check it out together, guys. How's that sound? Let me find my brush. Got this new Garrett pouch, man, and it's got so many pockets. I misplace my stuff sometimes. But I like it. It's a good pouch. It's got the mesh bottom. What do I got going on here? Got just a smashed bullet. It's a piece of lead. Flat on this side. Looks like it could have had a shank, but it might have just been a hard impact bullet. I don't know, folks. Guess as good as mine. If you know, post below. Alrighty, see you on the next. Alright guys, so some of the features of the Quest X10 Pro. So you have a jewelry mode, an all metal mode with a threshold, uh, coin mode, and a custom mode that I turned into a relic mode. It's very easy just to go between and choose. Just turn it on like that. And right now we're in jewelry, all metal. You can hear the threshold, coin. And then custom, which I turned into a, uh, like I said, a relic mode. And you can set the sensitivity, um, discrimination. Um, it also has a bunch of different tones. You can go up to, let's see, you can go up to a five tone, I believe. And then there is also a, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called right now. The dais and the, uh, legend have them. It's a different type of mode, search mode. I'll think of it here in a minute. I'll look in the book or if I have book if I have to. But yeah. Yeah, and here's your settings. You can got one tone, two tone, three tone, four tone, five tone, and then whatever this is, I can't remember. Um and there's the overload. Alrighty guys, but yeah, that's the Quest X10 Pro metal detector, $150 at uh, Teleco, I got a, a good discount on it, it's waterproof up to 10 feet, it has, a, it's backlit, let me turn it back on here, it's backlit and it also comes with a flashlight, see the flashlight up there, it's a backlit screen, so you can hunt with it in the dark, pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, I'm thinking about taking the Vanquish around for a few laps. I hunted up there, just up there on that little ridge line above the cellar hole with the Quest. I'm going to go around, hunt with the Vanquish for a little bit, and we'll get the Quest back out. We got all day here. It's uh, like 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I told the wife and kids I'd be home around 1 or 2, so we got quite a few hours of metal detecting, guys. So let's have at her. Hope you're enjoying the video. I remember the name of what that's called. It's called pitch tones. You can hunt in up to five tone. You know what I mean? Iron being your lowest. Five, your fifth tone being like your silver and stuff. Fourth being copper and bronze. This also has pitch tones. C6 would be pitch tones. So um, you'd still get your regular VDI numbers, but you're hunting in pitch. And the pitch, the sound, uh, will get higher and lower depending on the depth and the quality of the material you're hunting. So, um, a lot of people like using pitch tones on Deus and the Legend, from my understanding. So, Quest X10 Pro also has this. This won't stand up to the Deus or the Legend. You know, it won't even go as deep as the Vanquish with the V8 coil. In my opinion, I don't think it will. But, it is a really good detector so far. I like it. It has a lot of features. So, 
you know, I just got to do some more hunting on it, before, hunting with it before I can, you know, really give you a good analysis of it. But I do have a little clip of me finding an Indian head pinning with it the other day, first day hunting with it. I was just out checking it out up at the old burn site close to my house and boom, 1894 Indian head popped up. So I'll add the clip in right here. You guys can watch that and uh, I'm going to go hunt with the Vanquish some. Hopefully we find something good, guys. See you soon. Hey guys, first day out with the Quest X10 Pro and um, dug a couple bullets, a couple beaver tub pool tabs and I believe I just got my first coin with it. Yep, that's a coin. What are we gonna have? Look at we're having Indian guys. 1894 Indian. With the Quest X10 Pro. Hey, I just found an Indian head penny, guys. You did? Yep, 1894. What? I didn't know you were trying to go here. 1894 Indian? Yep. Yeah. Alright, guys. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Back's definitely crusty, but you can make out that Indian on the front. 1894. Heck yeah, guys. That's awesome. I mean, location is everything, but heck yeah, I'll take an Indian. Alright, guys, see you at the next. Alright, guys, we're back. First hole to Vanquish 540 V8 coil. It's going to be a little 22 short, and it is tiny. Been there for a minute. It's about three or four inches down. Alrighty, see you on the next. Alright guys, our next target's gonna be this big old funky looking nail. Alrighty, see you at the next. Alrighty guys, I got a cool target here. <laughs> it's way down there. Look how tiny this little lead BB is. Look at that, and you can tell that's old. I mean, it's turned white. That is insane. I hope I don't lose it. I don't want to drop it. It's so tiny. Uh, look at that. I think with 540 and the V8 coil picked that up. That's a good 7 inches down. And as I'm sitting here getting my camera out, we'll set this down right there. I look over, and I see a button. Look at that. It's just a plastic button, but still it's a button. <laughs> so we got a button and a little BB, a little lead BB. There's a glass right there, there's pottery shards, you see brick up in there and stuff where it all washed out. Up in there is part of the cellar hole, right above my thumb, you see the brick. There's a stone line cellar hole way back that way. And there's another stone line going back that way. So we got all kinds of options, guys. Get my little pouch out here so I can put this stuff up in it. But yeah, here's our finds so far. I've only been out here about 45 minutes. Alright, see you at the next. Alright guys, I'm still in the same area. Right here's where I dug the button. I stood up, or not the button, the little pellet. And I found the plastic button over there. I stood up, started kicking the dirt in here to fill it in. Had another signal. I was checking my hole, had another signal, had a six. I think we got a little button, guys. Look here. Ooh, this looks old too. Oh guys, we got us an old button. Look at that. Still got the shank. What we got going on here? Hmm. Hold on just a second, guys. Let me clean this up and we'll check it out together. Alright, guys. I like this. Check that out. It's like a little lead pewter button. Many cedars are bad out here. Yeah, check that out. Shank and all. That is cool. It's heavy. Heavy for its size. There's a little big gilding still in the back. It might not be lead. It might be some type of like alloy or brass, but man, it rang up a six. And it's got it's so heavy, that's why I'm thinking it's like a lead or a pewter. Alright, folks. That's an awesome find. That's definitely the find of the day so far. I love me some buttons, and that is a nice one. Alrighty, I'll see you at the next. Alright, guys, I got the knife. 
coming up very jumpy, high pitch. Low numbers, but high tone, if that makes sense. So I dug it, and we got us a kitchen knife. Can't beat that. Cool little relic right there. Alrighty, folks. See you at the next hole. Alrighty, folks. We're back. Here's my next target. I believe it's just a almost rusted away square now. Alrighty. See you at the next. Oh, man, guys. I either got a coin or a token with the Quest X10 Pro. Oh, that's sweet, man. It was a jumpy signal. It was going from like the 50s up to the 70s. It was on edge, I believe. Look at that. Oh, I think we're going to have a nickel or a token. Going to have us a V-nickel, guys. Heck yeah. All right, let me clean this up, and we'll look at it together, see if we can get a date, okay? All right, folks. Um, it's going to be a 191 and a big crud ball. Not sure. Yep, we got us a V-nickel, guys. Five cents. An American V-nickel, early 1900s. That's awesome. I just popped right up over the hill. Cellar hole's just right down there. I just came right up over the hill. And boom, there it was. And this place has been pounded, so. You know, I think it was on edge because it was an iffy signal. But yeah, look at that. That is awesome. It might be a 1912, guys. I might be seeing a 2 at the end. I'm not real sure. If it is a 1912, it's a last year V nickel. Alrighty, guys. See you at the next. Alright, guys. Class X10 Pro pitch tones. Figure it might be a bullet, a button, or maybe another nickel. We'll see. Hold on just a second. Alright, I think I got it out of the hole. Oh, there it was, it wasn't very deep. Look at that. Ah, look at that. 22 casing. So we know if it's jumpy 50 signal, it's 22 casing. On the Quest X10 Pro. Alright, see you at the next hole. Alright guys, still hunting with the Quest X10 Pro and pitch tones. Um, right up the hill from where I found the V-nickel. Got a shotgun head stamp. It's going to be an older one, I'd say. At least 1920s or 30s. Alrighty. See you at the next target, guys. Alright, our next target's going to be some live 22 long rifle ammo. Someone must have dropped that when they was reloading. It's been here a while. And as you can tell, it's pretty corroded. Probably still fire, though. Alrighty. See you at the next, guys. We'll take that home and dispose of it properly. See you soon. Alright, folks. There she is. Quest X10 Pro. Our glory. And a 1912 V nickel, guys. Look at that. Ain't that awesome. Heck yeah. Second coin in the uh, first, first week of owning it. It's my second coin. I dug an 1894 Indian. And a 1912 V nickel. I mean, location means a lot, but I've hunted these places with other detectors. Actually, like five other detectors and been right through that area. Um, I believe the V nickel was on edge, so in the Indian, it was just in a tight overgrown spot. But yeah, Quest X10 Pro, guys. 1912 V nickel. Boom, baby. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. I mean, what's the metal detecting trip without a mason jar lid at a good eight, nine inches? It's a solid one. <laughs> All right, guys. See you the next. Hey, guys. I'm back. I got an iffy high tone. I'm in the process of digging. Check that out when I pop the plug. <laughs> got us a cool little marble. Heck yeah. Ooh, that's going to be a nice one, guys. Look at that. Hold on just a second, folks. Let me clean it up on my pants here. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. That is a beauty. Hell, yeah, folks. That's what I'm talking about. I like that better than the nickel and the uh, button today. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at all them swirls. 
to our love old home sites, guys. Heck yeah. We'll put that in my special pocket for really cool finds. And uh, if this turns out to be anything, I'll let you know, okay? I still haven't found my target yet, but look at this. We shot a beautiful green sword. Oh, oh my God, look at that. Oh, wow, folks, look at that. I love marbles, if you can't tell. Especially old vintage ones. And digging them. Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. Look at that, folks. That is awesome. That is sweet. Heck, yeah. All right. Well, let's hope this target turns out to be something good. If not, heck, we got a couple good marbles out of it. All righty. I'll see you at the next, folks. Well, guys, I think this is what my high tone was. It's a piece of a copper uh, coal mine tag, number tag. And, uh, yeah, it's all broken up all through here. You can see I've been excavating. <laughs> but, uh, hey, the two marbles were well worth it, so, heck yeah. Alright, guys, I'm gonna keep looking around here. There's a bunch of brick, broken glass, mason jar lids, big old trees. So, I'm just gonna search this area. Alright, see you at the next cool find. Alright, folks, this is gonna be my final target of the day. It's, uh, getting to be close to 1 o'clock. I told the boys I'd be home around 1 or 2, so... I got about a four mile walk ahead of me, but check this out. Oh, quiet down girl. <laughs> Found this in pitch mode with the Quest X10 Pro. And uh, it's one of them route road bell seals. And I am, like I said, four or five miles from where I found that other one, or them other three. So that's cool, heck yeah. Nice little target to end the day on. Alrighty folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. and. Share with your friends. You can see K and I think it's M Railway. Alrighty folks. You have a good one. Be safe and happy hunting.